Golly, we're back. It's another Matt Mills, a brand new one. And this one, it's a meal with a story behind it. I'm talking about this bad boy right here, the iron skillet, the cast iron skillet. Your grandma had one, your mama had one, your wife ought to have one. She ought to have one. Go look and see if she does. Or, you know, maybe you're the wife. You ought to have one. I'm assuming that for some reason only guys are watching this. Cajun chicken mac and cheese skillet. In the skillet. This is creamy, ooey gooey. Oh my lord, cheese like an mf -er. And spicy seasonings. All of which you see right here. Because some cooking shows, they'll say, oh you, you know, use this, this, this. Very generic. I'm showing you the ones I use. Like my spices is Weber Grill Mates or whatever. So we'll go through all that. This is really, really good. It's one of my favorites. It's real easy. You'll make the whole thing under 45 minutes or so. And uh, it's not too bothersome, which is really good. Not a whole lot of standing over it, hovering. You know, you got to run back and forth. It works out real good. But this thing right here, this is my real grandma skillet right here. And uh, never direct, you know, connection to the old noggin or arm or anything. But she swung it a whole bunch of times. I'd always say, swing and a miss, Granny. Now, luckily, she kept a hold of it, because otherwise, we would have had some problems. So, set back, have you a cold one. For instance, I'm having a very cold, bold rock hard cider, the apple. Judge me if you want to. This is freaking good. I love it. So, we're going to have a brand new Matt Mills. We're going to cook it up, and we're going to do it with Grandma's skillet. Set back. It's Matt Mills. It's almost like you can smell it through the screen, ain't it? It's Matt Mills, and it is Cajun chicken mac and cheese in an iron skillet. That's a long damn title, ain't it? I mean, if that was on a recipe card, hell, you'd have to flip it over for the whole title. Now, we're going to let these things cook a little while, about two minutes on each side, just to make sure they're cooked real good, with that Grill Mates marinade. I highly suggest that stuff. It's real good. Save a little bit of it though, because you're gonna want some of that for your macaroni and cheese, the little sauce that we're gonna add to that. So, we're gonna let this cook again, couple minutes on each side. Might as well move on over here to the, the pasta, which is mac and cheese, obviously. I'm going with, as always, with barilla. Barilla. Hell, send a few dollars my way. Send some fanny packs or hats or more pasta. It don't matter. I'm just telling y'all what I use. I ain't looking for jack crap out of this because I know there ain't gonna be jack crap out of this. It's just something fun to do. I like to talk, obviously, and um, I like to eat, obviously, and uh, hell, I've been looking for something fun to do on YouTube, and this has seemed to have touched the hearts of America. So, we're gonna let that get all nice and Limp, I guess you would say. Get some more of this right here. And uh, got salt in there already. I want to mention that. If you didn't put salt in yours, add salt to the mac and cheese. When we return, though, the chicken's going to be all cooked up. Matter of fact, I should probably flip it right now. It's going to be all cooked up real nice. And then we're going to start the sauce. The sauce is going to make this whole thing perfection. Hot and mighty. Matt Mills. Your mouth is just watering thinking about the Cajun chicken mac and cheese skillet. Welcome back to Matt Mills. Look at that skillet. Oh, if it could talk, if it could talk, you'd probably charge it with a crime. That's the truth of the matter. Now, in, this is the same skillet that we cooked all that chicken in right there, right? We're going to pour in or add a little bit of butter to this thing. Remember, this thing's piping hot. Also, we've got our heavy cream. Very, again, very, very gently pour that in because you'll get some cake back on it. You saw me get burned earlier on that, didn't it? All right, so we're going to add this in, and we're just going to whisk it 
You want to get the goodies off the bottom of it. That's where the good stuff is, the stuff that you cook the chicken with, right? Remember that? We're just going to whisk it up real nicely, and then, yes, there we go. Whisk it up real nice, scraping the bottom to get all those goodies out, right? Scraping it in there real good, and we're just going to whisk it up real nicely. Oh, Matthew. All right, so we're going to add the cheese into this. I got a little bit of everything in this, okay? As far as the cheese goes, I got some Monterey Jack. I got the mozzarella because you want to get it all ooey-gooey, stringy and all that. And I even put Velveeta in there too because, I mean, Velveeta, I don't even know if it's real cheese or not, but damn, it's good. Did somebody leave that in the comments below? Oh, and I bet you will. You know it all. Of course, it's just chemicals. Well, tough teddy. It's good. Now, I'm going to add in that secret marinade. Not the secret marinade, but remember earlier I said we're going to save a little bit of it for our sauce. This is that same marinade that we had our chicken in. Okay, so we're going to make sure that all gets in there real good. Also, remember, if for some reason you put too much damn cheese into this, don't worry about it. Don't freak out. All you got to do is just add a little more milk to it, and it'll probably like, thicken it up real good, fix the whole problem. And here is my seasoning. My Weber Grill Nolan's Cajun seasoning. Now, the recipe says do this to taste, so I think two is good. And, you know, it looks good. And it smells wonderful. And I'm getting over some kind of sign of something or another. So this is, this is a good sign that I can smell this. So we're going to break right here. When we come back, we're going to add the rest of the marinade. We're going to get that all going real good. We're going to check on our macaroni and cheese. And before we know it, tasting time. It's Matt Mills Cajun Chicken Mac and Cheese Skillet. back to Matt Mills. It's Cajun chicken mac and cheese in a skillet. This wonderful sauce with all the marinade and all the cheeses is ready for the addition of the macaroni. Now be very careful with this because again you don't want to first of all you don't want to first of all you don't want to waste none of this good marinade. Now the pasta I can deal with but the marinade is so good and the sauce is so good, you don't want to waste none of that. All right, so I got that in there. We want to take this gimmick right here and just slosh it up real good. We just want to marry this together real nicely. I know sloshing it ain't a good word, but I didn't go to culinary school, okay? All right? I'm good friends with him, though, and he's a great lawyer, Rob Culinario. Now, we're going to mix this up real nicely. You know, just like you would do a macaroni and cheese, but this is in the skillet and it's Cajun chicken style. Now, we got that all looking pertinent good. Time for the chicken. We just gonna slide this in there and let it fall where it may because you don't wanna make a mess with it. Now, don't that look pretty? I'm gonna about screwed up. That's hot because it's iron. Okay, iron skillet, don't forget, that's the whole thing. Now, the chicken's in the mix. We're going to take this, by the way, I'm pairing this with a nice, fresh selection of brocks. Okay, broccoli. So you're going to see that coming in right here because it's already in there smelling oh so nice with some nice lemon juice and various uh, sundries on top of it. Now, I'm going to put this in here. It's cooked, okay, but we just basically going to get it even more ooey effing gooier because it is going to be so good. So we're going to stick that in there for a little bit, and when we return, it's tasting time. Matt Mills. Hot almighty. It's tasting time. It's Matt Mills. It's Cajun chicken mac and cheese in a skillet. An iron skillet right there. So remember, the full recipe is down in the description below. 
Make sure you get on there. It really, it takes like 45 minutes to do the whole thing. Sands the, you know, two hour marinade, but you can stick that in the night before, before you go to work. Um, let's give it a taste. Man, that is so good. I did not get a piece of chicken in the, in the bite. And I wouldn't do you justice, you subscribers of Matt Mill. Mm, so good. That is so good. Man. It's right there. I gotta remember to save some beer for the end of Matt Mills because I always drink them all. And then I'm like, Ugh. But anyway, follow me on social media. All, the, all that's down in the description below or right here or there or there or there or underneath there. But either way, follow me on there and join me next time for an all new Matt Mills.